Hello, my name is Lucy Blakeway and I'm going to spend five minutes showing you one of our most successful products, the Efoy Leisure Fuel Cell. It's very popular among caravanners, RV users and sailors all over Europe. This unit is a 1600 model which produces around 1600 watt hours per day or a continuous stream of around 65 watts of power. Don't be misled by that statement however. Some people get the wrong end of the stick and say, well that's no use to me, I need to boil a three kilowatt kettle. Using your battery inverter, you can do just that. In fact, we calculated that you can boil over 12 kettles per day, each containing six mugs, not cups, mind, of boiling water. The key is to look at your power needs on a per day basis. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to set up and run this fuel cell. The system ships with a fused one and a half meter cable set to make life easy. Extension cables are available if needed. We simply bolt it to the battery, observing polarity and ensuring the connections are tight. Now we'll just prepare the fuel cell. First, we fit the breather hose. It just pushes on here, like this. It needs to drain away excess moisture into a, either a drain bottle or into the ground. It's perfectly clean, fresh, deionized water. And now we connect the fuel cartridge. Just unscrew the cap. The anti-spill valve stays in place. Now screw the connector head in place. It's an ordinary right hand thread. Two things left to do before we start the fuel cell. First, we need to plug the display head into its connector. Finally, we plug the power cable into the fuel cell to provide the power to start the unit. Then we press start on the display. Now you'll hear the pump draw methanol into the system and it begins the process of starting the fuel cell. For the first few minutes, the system will be circulating the fuel, ensuring a correct mixture and using most of the power it produces to warm up the stack to the correct temperature. You can see from the display whether or not it is producing power. We'll go and have that mug of tea while it starts, shall we? OK, we've made our cuppa. Let's have a look at the power we're producing. If we take a look at the display, it shows us a number of data items. By pressing this button here, we can page through the data. The top line is showing that we're in automatic charge mode. Most users keep it that way. The lower line shows us the battery charge level. Here, it's 12.6 volts. If we press the button again, it shows that the unit is currently delivering a charge of 5 amps to the battery. And that's it. Clean, straightforward and easy. And a boon for anyone who needs clean, quiet power off-grid. Thanks for watching.